a lot of you have been asking me to do a setup tour. I have done something similar in the past, but it's 2017, so now it's time to do a brand new setup tour for you guys so that you know what kind of gear that you need to get. I'm specifically doing it today because Canon have provided a brand new piece of tech for me to use in my videos and it's fast becoming my secret weapon and it's something that I don't see a lot of YouTube videos made about so let me show you a little bit about how this camera affects how I produce video and voila this is my setup 2017 guys I'm very proud of this so let me run through a couple of things that you need if you want to record video game content on YouTube the first thing you need is either a console or a PC depending on what you're going to re be recording video games on. If you're going to be recording on a console, this is my PlayStation 4, I'm running it through a couple of boxes over here. One is an Elgato uh, HD60 which is pretty pretty much stock standard. You've, you've seen a lot of other YouTubers use this kind of device. I also have the Hophog uh, HD game capture and it's a device that allows me to run through the HDMI cable, it's a pass through, and run the signal to the PC and a screen so I'm able to play the game one to one and the PC is able to record one I'm playing with it. My face cam, I used to use a, a webcam like this, this is like you've seen a few of these but a lot of big YouTubers use camcorders and this is a very important addition. So I'm using the Canon Legria HFG40. Now it's a very cool camera because it's got a lot of features that that I need as a YouTuber and, and you guys will probably need as well. If you're considering using a DSLR to shoot your face cam uh, while doing video games uh, that's generally a very bad idea for a couple of reasons. Sometimes you play games that take a very long time to, to play through, so you often are playing a match of Dota and that's about an hour long, and a DSLR often only has a 15 or 20 minute recording time. The camcorder is designed to shoot for longer periods of time, and those longer periods of time are until the SD card gets full or it runs out of power. Now, the Legria uh, HGG40 is very cool because it's got a power source. It's got two SD card slots, so you've got even more space to use, so you don't really have to worry about the camera ever really cutting out during a game session. The other thing is that it's got a microphone input. If you've got a Let's Play channel and uh, you are recording a lot of content in front of your computer, you generally have a very good mic. I highly recommend getting a condenser microphone. They are like radio quality, so you sound a little bit more like a radio DJ. And that means it has a bigger, fuller, more reliable sound. This is a USB microphone, so it runs into the PC, which is great because I can use this microphone when I'm playing online with friends, and when I'm playing with other YouTubers, they get a really good audio signal from me. But I also am able to pull that audio from the microphone through the headphone jack into the camera's microphone jack over here which is very convenient because I get that quality of sound coming straight through into the camera feed. If you're new to making Let's Plays, you probably don't have the biggest, beastiest computer. Also, computers are probably going to be the most expensive part of the setup. Having a camera with the processing power of recording your face cam and the microphone is taken off of the computer, that burden is completely removed by your hardware and put onto the camera is such a blessing because it means that your computer doesn't have to work over time, you don't have to use any more additional RAM. Uh, when recording your face cam and your audio, it's all contained on these SD cards at the frame rate and the resolution that you choose. And finally, one of the big selling points of the camcorder is that it's got a flip screen that faces you when you shoot. I can address the camera and have a quick look at how the shot is framed up and know if there are any problems, has the camera stopped recording, what are the audio levels like, because the HFG40 has an audio meter on the front, that's super handy because you'll know if the audio is either distorting, if it's too soft or the microphone is not working. Another thing you can do to improve your image quality is to get great lighting. I got these two uh, soft boxes on either side of the uh, of the screen and that gives consistent lighting in a studio and makes sure that the camera, I've got the settings on the camcorder set perfectly so it captures it properly and uh, it means that you have the best looking visual that you can get. So make sure you check that when you get your Canon Legria HFG40 um, so that you have a great visual and a great look and a great face cam. Obviously I've got some baller hardware from SteelSeries as well. I highly recommend this Rival 700 SteelSeries mouse. It's, it's really cool. It's got a little screen on the side over here and uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm loving it more than, <laughs> than I should. It's a mouse but I love it so much. I just want it in my mouth. Um, and obviously my PC over here, this is, I'm running that, look at that, look at that Gigabyte Extreme Gaming 1080. Look at that! 
And even with a rig like that, that powerful, I still want a camcorder. I still want a camcorder to get great footage and make sure that my PC is not picking up the load of the camera. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the camcorder? Do you guys have a Canon camera already? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos from my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. High five a stranger. Cheers.